Glaucoma is a very common condition that we see in the eye clinic. There's a lot of people out there who have glaucoma or maybe have glaucoma. And so what I wanted to do was take this opportunity to talk a little bit more about this disease process and hopefully explain some things. The big question, of course, is what is glaucoma? At its essence, glaucoma is just high pressure in the eyeball. So just like you can have high blood pressure, you can also have high eyeball pressure that slowly kills the optic nerve. Let me explain that a little bit better. The eyeball sits inside the eye socket, kind of like a, a big scoop of ice cream inside of a ice cream cone, and coming out of the back of the eyeball is the optic nerve. This is a big nerve that sends all the signals from the eyeball back to the brain. Something about high pressure inside the eye, over time, destroys this optic nerve, and that's what glaucoma is. We don't know what the process is. Is it uh, some type of pressure pushing on this nerve or maybe a decreased blood supply, but certainly high pressure over time kills this nerve off. And that's glaucoma. But here's the problem with glaucoma. It has absolutely no symptoms. I mean, it really has no symptoms. It doesn't make your eyes hurt. You don't see flashing lights. You don't see floaters. It has no symptoms, except over time, and by over time, I mean sometimes over decades, you slowly lose vision. So, how do we diagnose or even monitor glaucoma? Glaucoma is not an easy diagnosis to make. It's not like being pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not pregnant. With glaucoma, there's a lot of maybes. Maybe you have glaucoma. Maybe you don't have glaucoma. Maybe it's getting worse. Maybe not. Well, there's three things that we look at. One is pressure. That's obvious. Glaucoma, high pressure. The optic nerve appearance. And finally, visual fields. Let's go through each one. Eye pressure. Certainly, if you come in and you have a high eye pressure, then increases your risk of glaucoma. Normal is about 10 to 21. And if you come in and you have a pressure of 35, we say, sure, you've got glaucoma. Look at your pressure. It's ridiculously high. We've got to treat it. But here's how we do it. This is a uh, way to check pressure. That little blue light on this microscope basically pushes against the eye and feels how hard the eye is. It's kind of like checking uh, the air pressure inside of a tire by kicking that tire. We do the same thing in the eye clinic. It doesn't hurt, though. We numb the eye up. This is another device that we can use called a tono pin, and it's sort of an electronic gadget. It does the same thing. You basically bounce it on the surface of the eye. Once again, this does not hurt at all, but with an experienced tech, they can come up with a good value. You probably can't read this, but it says 14, so that's a, a normal eye pressure. Now, we can't rely on pressure alone to diagnose or monitor glaucoma because the reality is pressure fluctuates throughout the day for everyone, and it's influenced by many things. If you come in dehydrated, your pressure will probably be a little bit lower. If you're on a water pill, your pressure is probably a little bit lower, so pressure isn't everything. Plus, there's a lot of people out there who have sort of borderline pressure who don't have glaucoma. Their pressure just kind of runs high. And there's other people who have borderline pressure who have a lot of damage. So pressure is not the greatest test. It's one of the things you want to follow over time. Now, the second thing we follow, of course, is the optic nerve appearance. And we already said the optic nerve is that big nerve coming out of the back of the eyeball going to the brain. How do you evaluate this thing. It's not easy to look at this nerve. I mean, I guess you could get an MRI and look at it. Wouldn't be very exact. When ophthalmology, we had the privilege to be able to see this nerve by dilating the pupil, looking into the eye, and looking back at the retina. You can actually see this nerve directly. So this is the retina on the back of the eye. It's what detects light. And this big round thing here is the optic nerve. Now, it doesn't look like a nerve because it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a PVC pipe coming right at you. It looks like a circle. But this is the nerve that connects the eyeball to the brain behind it. And this is the one place in the body you can actually look at a nerve directly. You can't look at any other nerves directly. It's under skin. Here you can actually look at that nerve and say, does that nerve look healthy? Does it look like there's been glaucoma damage? So if there's damage to that nerve, here's what happens. Over time, this nerve starts to get kind of hollowed out. So you see this process here? You can kind of think of these as little wires diving down the PVC pipe going to the brain. And with glaucoma, those wires get stripped out one by one. You end up getting a big hollow space right in the middle of your optic nerve. And that's what looks suspicious for glaucoma. So this is a normal nerve. And this is a nerve with a big hollow space in the middle of it. Maybe this is glaucoma damage. So if you see a progression from this to this, you can say, you know what? There's been a change. Looks like you've had glaucoma damage. We need to be more aggressive. But here's the thing. The appearance of the nerve is not everything. If you come in with a nerve that looks like this on your first visit, do you have glaucoma or not? It's hard to say because the reality is everyone's nerves look a little bit different. 
Some people ha happen to have a uh, overly sized PVC pipe back here that has a whole bunch of extra room here. It's not extra room from damage, it's just you have all this extra room. Doesn't mean you have glaucoma. So the appearance doesn't matter at one specific time. But what is important is you take a photograph on those early visits, you follow it over time, and if the photos look different year by year by year, then you can say, you know what, I think there's been progression. We need to be more aggressive. The final thing we look at is side vision. Because with glaucoma, you typically lose your peripheral vision first. And it's a slow process. It's so slow, people don't notice it until, you know, 10, 20 years of damage later, you start bouncing in the walls and you realize, oh my gosh, I can't see so well out to the side. At that point, it's too late. There's not much that can be done because this vision loss is permanent. So how do, do we uh, detect side vision? Well, one way is to uh, cover the eyes and have people count fingers way out in their peripheral vision and see if they can see that. This is a very inexact way. Can't really pick up glaucoma damage, so we use something a little bit more advanced. This is a Humphrey visual field. It's basically a uh, visual field machine that actually shoots light in different quadrants. You put an eye patch over your patient's eye, have them look with the other eye, give them a little buzzer, and every time they see the light, they click the buzzer. You can actually map out peripheral vision much more exactly. This is an older machine called a Goldman, and it does something very similar, except instead of shooting the light on and off, it actually moves the light. And you can imagine that if you give someone a buzzer and you say, as soon as you see the light coming into your vision, hit the buzzer, you can map out the peripheral vision and come up with a very exact uh, idea of what someone can or cannot see. So visual fields, important to get. Once again, these are hard to analyze. You know, someone comes in, their eyes are a little dry or they're feeling a little sleepy or they're tired. Not easy test to do, but once again, it doesn't really matter what one field looks like. It's how they look over time. And if over time, the visual field's getting worse and worse, then you can say, you know what? You probably have glaucoma or your glaucoma is not being well treated. We need to be more aggressive. So I guess the moral of the story here is when it comes to glaucoma, it really doesn't matter how any of these things, the pressure, the side vision, the optic nerve appearance look at one time, but what's more important is how things change over time, and that's why it's important to have regular eye checkups to make sure the glaucoma is not getting worse. For more informative videos like this, visit us at tomocaeye.com, or if you would like to make an appointment to see one of our doctors, please call 386-672-4244.